Hey everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome back to part four of my Doki Doki Literature Club Let's Play. In the last episode, things just went completely off the rails and we are now in horror game territory. So in the last episode, after Sayori confessed her love to me and I said I just wanted to be friends, Sadly, she killed herself, and now the game has reset, and as you can see, Monica is taking over where Sayori is because Sayori is no longer in the game. So, obviously, Monica has some sort of motive here. I don't know if she wants to, like, slowly kill all the girls off so that, you know, she's the only one left and she can be with me and me alone. But, uh, yeah, I'm interested to see where things are going and a little scared at the same time. And as for the audio, if you notice any differences, it's because for my own mental and emotional well-being, I have decided not to play with headphones anymore just because it was really getting under my skin. So um, I'm just going to be using a regular microphone. I'm sorry, guys. I told you I don't do well with horror games, but enough blabbing. Let's get on with the game. Okay, yes. So here we were before I decided that I had to stop the game. So... Um, obviously Monica is taking the place of where Sayori was in the last playthrough where Monica is coming in to tell me about the literature club instead of Sayori. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Rose. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? <sighs> See, it's like beh behind that sweet smile, we know that she has got some really dark ulterior motives. I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please. Uh, she is just like, she knows too, like she knows that I won't be able to say no. Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Oh, awesome! You're really sweet, Rose, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. She knows just what to say, too, doesn't she? And thus marks, uh, sorry, and thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly followed Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me! Eh? Oh, jeez! Oh, it's already happening. It's already happening. These damn glitches, you guys! Eh? Uh, a guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Okay, so this is pretty much exactly like how the game was at the beginning, except with no Sayori. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Rose. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! <laughs> So, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? Okay, this part's different. What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first grader. A <laughs> first grader, geez. First year. That would be a very different type of dating sim. <laughs> one that, um... <laughs> Definitely not be playing. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. I it's nice to meet you. I wonder if I should, like, if I get another go at this, 
like, what should I do in this situation? Should I maybe go after Monica and try and, like, spare the other girls from their potential fate? I don't know. Uh, Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So, I ran into Rose in a classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... well, you know... Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. Sure, just happened to. She's... she's got this all planned out. She's... she's so cunning and it's just so creepy. She's just got like this sweet look to her and you know she's just like evil. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Rose? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Yeah, because Monica kills them all off. <laughs> it must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. See, now I'm like nervous every time the festival is brought up because that is when all the bad stuff started happening last time. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, that's if you don't kill off the other members. Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, eh that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. Okay, Yuri, I am... If given the option, I will try to go for Monica instead, and I want to save you and Natsuki. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of Natsuki, uh, I still want to make sure that they don't die. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading must not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. It is strange, though, to like see this kind of all again, just knowing the what it is now, what this game is now, and it's just like this underlying dread that you feel. So Rose, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, um, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Knives, for example. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a leap? I feel like this is the game kind of breaking the fourth wall, basically being like, it's because this game definitely threw me for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, I read a horror book once. 
I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. I expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful of changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. This too is very pertinent to what's happening right now. Ugh, I hate horror. <laughs> Natsuki, I am with you. <laughs> Actually, I kind of uh, relate more with Natsuki the more I think about it. So I don't like horror, I definitely prefer manga, so I, uh, I definitely relate to her in that aspect. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. See, I'm wondering if I have to literally go through the same thing over again, exactly how the game was, because this is very similar. I'm okay with that, if it means that nothing scary happens, but at the same time, it's like we've already done this before, so it is kind of a little slow. And give that back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Uh... I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well... I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of Vice President, after all. Oh, okay, so Yuri is now Vice President, which probably means she's going to be the next to go, unfortunately. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Rose? Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. Run now, dude! Run before it's too late! I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. <laughs> eh? The girls exchange glances be before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Rose. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. Well, you might have if you hadn't killed off Sayori, Monica. Did you think about that? I know she didn't actually kill Sayori, but I mean, she definitely contributed to it. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... Oh God, the guilt tripping. I'm, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. <laughs> if only you knew. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Oh boy, you've just sealed your fate and probably these girls' fates too. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Rose? Yeah. 
It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. <laughs> I have a feeling this game is gonna scare me soon. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Rose, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Oh man, they really are going to make me do the poem again, huh? Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Rose, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <sighs> okay, so... Here's the thing, do I try... Do I try to appeal to Monica even though I'm not quite sure what her style is? I mean, I kind of have an idea of her style, but... I don't even know if I would be able to because I remember the last time I tried to do the poems, it, I don't think it would let me make a poem for Monica, but that might change because it's one less per- I don't know, I'm thinking too far ahead. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. <laughs> I feel anxiety too, but for a completely different reason. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in the literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls and then have them meet their horrible fate. All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh, I'm so nervous. So nervous. Oh no, I've unlocked a special poem. I'm okay, sure, yes? I mean, I, I'm kind of nervous about it. I, part of me wants to click no, but okay. I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh god, ah, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. No, that was bad. Okay, so I really can only go after Natsuki or Yuri, huh? Alright, well... <sighs> I guess I'll just do, you know, canon, which was I was going after Yuri in the first place. Sorry, girl. So, I mean, I definitely know what kind of things that she goes for, so... Uh, sort of. Um... Like, I really am good at picking out by now what kind of things that she likes. <laughs> just says happy music while I- boop! <laughs> I just wanted something happy there, but like... Just this happy music playing in the background while I just pick these horrible, like, words, these depressing words. Natsuki just looks so unhappy with me. I'm not even trying to go for her at all. Oh, and with every click, I am just dooming Yuri to a horrible fate. Why am I doing this? Hi again, Rose. I'm glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I should have. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back again at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Oh god, no. I No, that was that was not a good thing. I did not like that. Thanks for keeping your promise, Rose. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh god. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Oh god, what? Net, but, but, but. I can't see it. 
Okay, I think it says, I think it says Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps their ma manga collection in the club room. I think that's what it says. Is this just like Monica slowly trying to like, you know, have it so that I can't see what the other girls are saying because she's just trying to get my attention? Okay. I'm just waiting for her to pop up again. I'm terrified right now. This is actually really making me unnerved. I don't know why. I don't know why this particular, like, right now, this is, like, freaking me out so much. And I kind of don't want to play anymore. Ugh. I'm just... This is such a stupid place to, like, consider ending it, but... To be honest, I've been putting off playing this game for, like, a week because it freaked me out so badly, and it's just... This game is just getting under my skin. Like, I think... As embarrassing as this is, I think I might have to stop here. Like, I don't think I can play this game anymore. This game has succeeded in doing what it wants to do, which is... making the player feel very unnerved and like just getting in their head and under their skin and yeah um like i said i don't play horror games and the longer i'm looking at this i'm just like i can't i can't do this anymore <laughs> so rather than forcing myself to go through a game that is just mentally stressing me out i think i'm gonna have to stop so i'm really sorry guys like i know this probably isn't the way that you thought this was gonna go and this isn't the way i thought it was gonna go but um this is where I end it. So, um, if you do want to watch other people's Let's Plays of this, there are a ton out there, and I'm sure so much better than mine, but I can't do this anymore. So, I'm going to have to wrap it up here, get back into games that I know I can play. So, I gave it a try, you know. Hopefully, you guys won't hate me too much for this, but I'm going to stop rambling, and I'm just going to stop. So, I hope I never have to have one this short again because I literally can't play the game anymore so uh, yeah thank you for my very short-lived let's play of Doki Doki Literature Club and once again I'm so sorry <laughs>